We're headed out into the humble little backyard garden today. Gonna have to do some transplanting. Actually more. Some freaking out. October 6th. I started these guys, I don't know, six weeks ago, eight weeks ago. I'm not sure. Got them all filled up. The soil's actually dried out a little more than I would like to, so. I'm not gonna try, especially this soil is high in peat moss. And peat moss takes a little bit to be able to soak things in, especially when it starts drying out. This is a little too dried out, so I'm actually gonna hit it with some water and let it soak in before I do my transplanting today. Otherwise, I might end up with some dry sockets in here. I'm actually gonna give it a soak. I'm give this soil every chance it can to get fully and well hydrated. It's just a little too dry for my liking. So you always want to be sure that if you're going to prick a seedling out, that it's already got its first true leaves. If you try and prick it out before that, you're going to... Oh, this is so cool. I'm playing with a new gadget here on my phone. But yeah, if you prick it out before that, you, you try and transplant it before it's got these first set of true leaves, then you're gonna stunt the plant and you're gonna have real troubles getting it to catch up. Got my violas over here, which you can see that this one's ready. But this one right here, this one right here, I might wait a little bit. It's got its first set of true leaves, but it's, I might give it a little while more. It could, it could grow on, be more closer to what some of these guys are looking like. Never grab your plant by the stem. Always grab it by the leaf. You can you can damage the leaf, tear off a leaf, but if you damage the stem, you'll be in trouble. Use the pen or stick or whatever you're using. Gently put those roots down in the hole. And then after you get done doing this, you won't want to leave them out in full sun. You want to, you want to protect them for a few days, give them a chance to get over the transplant shock. The more gentle you are with them, the less shock they'll have, the sooner they'll recover and go back into full growth. And then after you get these in, for their new little homes, unless I want to make sure you Give them a watering and tuck those new roots in. So I'm just gently going to soak these in and snug those new roots in. Probably get rid of this tray of water that's under here too. Soil's had plenty of time to drink it up. So yeah. That's how we do it. You see these beautiful little roots here? We just want to carefully tuck them down in the hole and then just kind of firm it around it. Just carefully tucking them in, firming it around it. And then when we get done, we'll, we'll water in and mud them in just like we did those other ones. Snapdragons for spring and fall colors. And the other one is Viola's, part of the pansy family. That's how we do it. So we've got a pretty overcast day today, unless that sun shines through anymore. And then I'll have to move those, these guys somewhere else, give them a little break. But they're tucked in for right now. They're mudded in. If it stays overcast, then they'll be able to stay here, but otherwise I would want to move them to someplace protected and shady or maybe even indoors or in the shade until they get through the transplant shock. But aside from that, yeah, they've got their feet in the ground and they're looking good. 